Hello friends, welcome. I am Arun Kumar and this is our channel Chemistry Crafters with Bono. Today, uh, this is one making video. We are going to prepare phenyl compound as well as phenyl solution by using TRO, Turkey Red Oil. Already we have posted many videos for phenyl compound and phenyl solution. We have posted by using soft soap and oleic acid, alfax and SLES, polysorbate already we have posted so this is uh, by using turkey red oil one thing and another thing to get good quality phenyl without layer separation to get homogeneous phenyl solution formula alone not sufficient the materials should match with the formula so how to check the compatibility verify the materials whether it is okay for our formula or not that is what today we are going to do one more thing i mean the point is apart from formula there are many factors to be considered to get the homogeneous medium to get the phenyl solution without layer separation the quality and concentration of the materials for the example pine oil pine oil is available in many different concentrations 32 percent or 22 percent even 22 percent is available in various grades okay low cost medium cost high cost so depends upon the concentration and the quality of the materials not only pine oil is applicable for more or less all the materials including tro what is the concentration of tro so the concentration and quality of the materials are very important especially the perfume what is the perfume we are using? How much quantity we are using? What is the preservative? How much preservative we are using? Is there any thickening material? What is the color we are using? What is the blending speed? What is the dilution factor? Phenyl compound yeast water, whether it is 1 yeast 20 or 1 yeast 30, whatever it is, what is the dilution factor? So, these things are very important to get homogeneous medium. So, formula alone not sufficient, other things should match with our formula, how to verify the process. So, formula and the materials, whether it is matching or not, how to verify. So, that is what today we are going to evaluate. This is the measurements to prepare 100 ml phenyl compound. I have given the measurements for 100 ml only. The reason is, before planning for business purpose, we need to ensure the compatibility. I mean, compatibility of this formula with our materials, all the materials, including the perfume, amount of perfume, color, preservatives, everything. With this 100 ml phenyl compound, I am going to prepare four different phenyl solutions. One is without perfume with 20 parts dilution of water another one is without perfume with 30 parts of dilution of water and another one is with perfume 20 parts of dilution and fourth one is with perfume 30 parts of dilution so in this trial batch my objective is to verify the compatibility after the 24 hours or after one week if I am getting homogeneous medium homogeneous phenyl solution means that is that materials perfume amount of perfume color preservative water dilution everything is okay otherwise we need to find out what is the reason what are the causes and then we need to rectify so after confirming the compatibility we can plan for 5 liters or 10 liters this is pilot batch if we are getting the same results in pilot batch also then we can plan for business purpose this is the professional approach or professional way of utilizing a particular formula for our business purpose i have taken all the materials to prepare 100 ml of phenyl compound by using turkey red oil 
This is 250 ml plastic measuring jar in which I am going to prepare 100 ml. First, I mean as per the measurements, I am charging pine oil. Next one is Alfox 200, I am charging. It is completely miscible with pine oil, so there is no need of blending. The third one is SLES, I am charging. Finally, I am charging turkey red oil. Now, I need to blend it. Blending properly. Now, 100 ml phenyl compound is ready. It is not clear and transparent. I hope tomorrow it will become so. But today itself, I can use it. Now, I am splitting this 100 ml phenyl compound into 250 ml phenyl compounds. In 150 ml, I am not adding any perfumes as such. In another 50 ml, I am adding, I am mixing 5 ml of perfume. First, let us start with phenyl compound without perfume. I am taking 20 ml. This is 400 ml RO water. I mean, the phenyl compound versus RO water is, the dilution factor is 1 is to 20. So, this is 2 liter capacity plastic vessel. First, I am charging the phenyl compound. Then, slowly with a constant stirring, I am charging the 400 ml of RO water. Then, I am charging the color solution and also preservative, phenoxyethanol. Now, mixing well for few more seconds and transferring into a transparent pet bottle. Next, I am taking 20 ml of phenyl compound. This time, I am going to dilute with 600 ml of RO water. I mean, the dilution factor is 1 is to 30, phenyl compound versus water. Same procedure, adding the color, preservative and transferring into a another labeled pet bottle. This is 50 ml phenyl compound with perfume. Again, I am taking the 20 ml, repeating the same process with 20 parts of water. I mean 20 ml phenyl compound with 400 ml RO water, color, preservative, that's all. This is 30 parts dilution, I mean 20 ml phenyl compound with perfume, 600 ml water, color, preservative and transferring into a labeled pet bottle. Now I have prepared 4 different phenyl solutions by using only 100 ml phenyl compound. Tomorrow we will check the quality parameters, especially whether it is homogeneous or is there any layer separation. This is after 24 hours, more or less all are good, all are homogeneous, no layer separation. There is no layer separation at the top portion. If is there any ring means that ring is due to improper perfume or excess perfume and also at the bottom also there is no layer separation, paste separation, completely homogeneous medium of course uh, 20 parts dilution and also 30 parts dilution. So the interpretation is after the trial batch with 100 ml phenyl compound for different phenyl solutions the interpretation is this formula is ok for my material including the perfume the amount of perfume what i am using the preservative color solution the dilution factor everything is ok then i can plan for 5 liters or 10 liters then i can plan for my business purpose suppose if there are some layer separation or paste separation what to do carefully we need to analyze what type of layer separation due to what material what are the causes already we have posted one detailed video regarding the reasons for layer separation in phenyl based on that knowledge we need to find
find out the cause and we need to alter the either the formula or the amount of the measurements this is the procedure what i have done if necessary you can take the screenshot Thank you friends thank you for watching this video we'll meet in our upcoming videos your suggestions and feedbacks are always welcome